Recently, mental health services that were provided by the county are now provided more directly by the district. How do the recent mental health program changes affect PAUSD and PAUSD students and schools? What is the role, responsibility, and priority for the district in this area? And I should say that we've moved over to questions that have either been emailed to us or are from the audience. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry, Heidi. So in 2011, the California legislature repealed the state mandate on special education making school districts solely responsible for ensuring that students with disabilities receive services to meet their needs according to the IDEA Act. Students are still mandated to receive services documented in the IEPs as outlined by federal law, guaranteeing a free and appropriate public education. The bottom line is that funding streams have changed, but services documented in the IEP must be provided by the school district. School districts can con uh, contract with county mental health agencies, hire their own professionals, contract with organizations or professionals in the community, or use a combination of approaches to ensure that services continue. If a family has any concern about services, they should be raised in the IEP team meeting. And if a family disagrees with services received, they can request a due process hearing through the Office of Administrative Hearings in Sacramento. Mayor? If I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, and I was kind of answering this on, on the last time out, but I believe that we get $8 million for special ed from the, uh, a source of many governments, and we spend $125 million. So we, do I have that number wrong? I was trying to read. We get a lot, lot, less money than we spend in our district and that continues to be true with the new priorities of the school district being responsible for um, our children that's why it has been very helpful for this district to roll special ed across into general ed practices as well one of the most effective um, practices in our district has to been to train our general ed teachers on special ed um, techniques and um, I think we're going to see more of that as funds are an issue they always will be an issue and I think we're getting we're going to get better at this so I think this this transition um, from county responsibility to district responsibility for mental health services for kids presents both an opportunity and a risk. I mean, the opportunity is implicit in the s staff member that um, Camille was mentioning, um, Wendy Goodridge, who is very enthusiastic, obviously closer to our kids and you know the specific their specific needs than um, county mental health officials were. So the opportunity to have someone who's enthusiastic, who can um, work across the district, who can create um, more opportunities for connections with parents around the delivery of mental health services, that's a real opportunity. The risk is in um, budget and in continuity. So um, as Camille points out, um, there's a real risk that this transition comes along with a, a decrease in resources. And these resources are really important um, for mental health services. And so we need to be careful that we are um, not experiencing that loss and if we are experiencing the loss we need to make it up and understand how we can do that um, and um, so I think that it's um, particularly important that we keep an eye on the budgetary consequences of this and on the ability that to, to maintain connections with mental health professionals that our children already have as we change these um, you know treatment regimes because you know loss of continuity is a really difficult problem for mental health. Thanks. Thank you. Um, you know, so uh, it's clear if you have services being done for some amount of money and then you're asked for someone else to do them, or someone else was doing them, then you're asked to do them and it costs you more money than you're given, that's a challenge. And, um, but as, as has been said already, we already are facing that challenge with 
the regular um, special ed services. There's an opportunity here to tie the work that we do in mental health services to some of the partnerships that we've been able to make through the Herd Alliance as part of the Project Safety Net. So actually some of the work that the Project Safety Net folks have been doing have connected into mental health services. We haven't made that connection yet, but that opportunity is there. And so I think there's several opportunities for us to have closer, more quality care. I, I don't know that folks were overall thrilled with what we're getting from County Mental Health. Um, and if we can take the resources we have in our community that are committed to us, that partner with us, and roll it into what we've invested in already in a person in the district, I am optimistic that we can have a better mental health services um, operation here, even though we have less money to do it.